A short while ago, I published episode one of my small account option trading challenge. Well, now it's time to publish an update to find out if my risky option play blew up in my face and I ended up losing it all. In that video, I introduced the idea for my small account options trading challenge and started it off with only $1,000 in my account. Well, this video is my small account options trading challenge episode two because I wanted to share with you and update you on this challenge and whether it's been profitable for me or a loss. Now the rules of my challenge were pretty simple and straightforward. I was able to start with $1,000 cash and no holdings in my portfolio. Next, I could only use options for all my transactions and so the only way for me to acquire shares in my portfolio would be as a direct result of an option trade. For example, if I were getting assigned shares as the result of a cash secure put option contract. Similarly, if I have shares in my trading account, I'm not allowed to directly sell them. I have to use an option trading method to sell the shares. For example, I could use the shares as collateral for a covered call. Then if the covered call option contract gets exercised, then my shares would be assigned away to the buyer. But first, let's go with the recap of episode one. I started off by quickly discussing the wheel strategy and then I mentioned the four key steps of how to use it. Armed with that information, I researched and found a stock that I could use for an option play. Now, since I only had cash in my account, I started by selling a cash secure put option contract, and the length of that contract is 43 days, so a lot could happen in that time frame. Here's what my transaction log looked like at the beginning of episode one. You can see that my starting account balance is only $1,000. And then by the end of episode one, you can see that I successfully sold a cash secure put for stock symbol OCGN. It had an expiration date of 521 of 2021 and a strike price of $5. Now for selling this cash secure put option contract, I received 76 cents per share. And as a result, I received a premium payment of $76 as a credit deposited immediately into my trading account when this option contract was filled. So that gets you up to speed and now you know what happened in episode one. Now let's get going to episode two. I started off this episode thinking that since I have $576 in my trading account, my plan was to find another good underlying stock that I could use for a great option play. And it was while I was researching other stocks that I noticed that the cash secure put option contract that I had sold for stock symbol OCGN, its value had dropped significantly. Take a look here at the $5 put option contract that I sold. Its value is now only six cents. With the price so low, I decided to buy back my option contract. And I would do that by executing a buy to close transaction. So this would remove my obligation to purchase the shares if the stock price were to dip below my strike price. And as a result, my collateral would then be released back to me so I could use it for other trades. So this is the cash secure put I sold for stock symbol OCGN with the $5 strike price. And you can see here the expiration date is 521 of 2021 and the 76 cents a share I received as premium. But then you'll also notice that the current price is only 6 cents per share. So given this current condition, I decided to buy to close my option contract. So I press trade and then buy, and I specify one contract that I'm buying back. I set my limit price at five cents per share. So I'm paying $5 to buy back one open contract, which will release my collateral and remove my obligation to buy the 100 shares of OCGN. So I submit my order, it gets received and placed. And then a short while later, my order gets filled. Now I'll update my spreadsheet with the information from this transaction. So on May 14th of 2021, seven days before expiration, for stock symbol OCGN, I issued a buy to close transaction for my cash secure put option contract. Now in order to execute this buy to close, I had to pay five cents per share or a total of $5 in premium. So that's five cents per share times the 100 shares. And that $5 was automatically withdrawn from my trading account when this buy to close transaction was filled. Also notice that the $500 that was reserved as collateral has been released back to me and made available now in my trading account. And as a result, my account balance is now $1,071. So my net profit is $71. And in terms of percentages, it's 14.2% for a 36 day trade. If you like what I've shown in this video, do me a huge favor and smash the like button. So I now have $1,071 available in my trading account. I'm gonna go back to researching and trying to identify one or more stocks that I could use for upcoming option plays. After I find the stocks I'm looking for, 
I'll execute more Cast Secure puts. So be sure to come back to my channel so that you can find out what stocks I find, the option plays I execute, and then find out if the results are profitable or if I lose it all. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.